Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia in day 101 of our Marchese Vocal Challenge. Today, we are continuing with our varied scales, accenting different points of the scale and doing all sorts of different crazy musical things um, with exercise 150. And we've only got like 44 more exercises to go, right? I think, yeah, 44 more exercises to go. So. We're in the home stretch, people. Let's get ready. Voice with Julia, change your voice, change your life. So for exercise 150, we're essentially going to be doing the same thing that we did on 149, but this time we're starting on the top scale degree and coming down. So instead of working our way up, we're working our way down. Um, this presents new challenges, as you will see, because some of the things require like the staccato onsets up top. So that's going to require a different kind of delicacy than maybe we experienced in the scale going up. Remember, as we go through this, anytime you feel any kind of grabbing in your throat, sure, you might be being musically accurate, like you might be making a staccato, but if you're making a staccato by squeezing your throat, that's not what we want. So you have to temper the music, your musical ability with also your vocal ability. You can't let one sort of dominate, right? You need both. So if you start to feel like in an effort to either give an accent or do the dotted rhythm or do a staccato or, or whatever the, the marking is, if you find that you have to do some kind of constriction in the throat or the quality of the sound changes, you're gonna know that that's not the right way to do it, okay? You gotta find a way that feels easy. If certain parts of these exercises are too difficult right now to master without tension, then take them down, okay? Transpose these exercises. Um, or transpose it up. I don't anticipate in this particular exercise that you would need to transpose up, but perhaps you need to transpose down a little bit and play in the range that is comfortable because that will help the more ease that you develop in the workable parts of your voice, then that expands the ease in the parts of your voice that are a little bit more difficult. But you have to be really committed to feeling that there is no effort. Okay, so exercise 150, I'm going to talk you through this. We are going to start with our accent on the first and then the fifth note. And then we're going to work our way through changing that accent point. Then we're going to go to dotted notes, staccati, slurred and staccati, then that kind of like halfway staccati that sort of emphasized one, the mezzo staccato, and then to the syncopated one. All right, so I will walk you through this. Don't worry, step by step. First one. <clears throat> First and fifth notes, accent. Now, when you accent, feel like you swell, okay? Swell the energy, don't drive it, right? Second and six. Okay, third and seventh. Now this one, we've got the fourth and the eighth. Now this one is dotted. Now this one is staccato onset. Be careful. I might have to try this again. Okay, now slurred and staccato. Got staccato and slurred. Bum bum bottom. Bum bum bottom. Bum. That's kind of a weird one to me. Let me try that one again. That's better. I think. I think I said this last time. I would connect those slurred into the staccato. So instead of going slur stop staccato, I do slur into the staccato release. It's a choice. I don't know if it's the right one. 
It's my choice. Okay. Now this is that metal staccato. Feel that bum, 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 bum. Longer staccato. More emphasis, right? Now this one is the syncopated. So we're going to do a staccato, then slurred to the staccato release, then, okay, basically what it is is note, then stick, uh, slur to the staccato, slur to the staccato, slur to the staccato, slur to the staccato. So it's like, bum, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, bum, 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 right? Okay, kind of like that. Let's try that one again. So this, I can't actually see, there isn't a dot on that first D. There is not, okay? So, all right, so it's kind of like that. And you probably will want to take this a little bit slow at first to make sure that you're getting all of these things in. Again, these are to be practiced over a few days, right? So you get into the habit of doing them. Um, since I'm doing these daily, obviously I'm not really doing that, but one one should do that, right? In, in order to get that flow and that feeling. Yeah, so, you know, it's fun to play around with all of these different musical accents. And this can also keep your throat from getting too rigid as you're repeating these scales. There's a part of me that says like, we should just put this close to the beginning instead of those, remember that awful scale that was at the very beginning that you had to just like sing one note after another? I get why they do that, but at the same time, this is kind of easier. Yeah. All right, so I will see you tomorrow and we will finish up our varied scales.